there is a way of life, a lifestyle. And that includes juggling all this medication, doing all the menial tasks like ordering medication from the pharmacy, sterilizing equipment, flushing a central line, flushing your nose, making sterile water for your flushing your nose, all these tasks that nobody really knows about unless they live the life. I think number one uh, in terms of managing life with CF and jobs and so on is to really make choices that are for the long term, self-preservation choices and one of them being that I needed to work part time and that I could spend my off days resting and recovering, preparing my treatments or uh, washing nebulizers, things like that. If I have to, I'll just say no to people because I need to take care of myself and um, I hated doing that and I felt guilty and I, um, I often felt like I let people down but it's just something I had to do to survive in the long term. Health insurance is so important for cystic fibrosis just because of the costs of everything um, and so it has to do with employment, it has to do with how many assets we keep because if we do lose our job we will have to go for um, public uh, public uh, medical care. I remember I was working one full-time job and the cost of my medicine, even though I was covered, I had health insurance through the job, uh, the plan that I was on and what they were willing to do for me, the cost of my medicine was basically eating up my entire paycheck every month. I like to play the type of sports where you're not really thinking this is for my health, but you're, you're just having a good time and you realize that it is helping you. I've been riding dirt bikes for quite a while and I've noticed a major hindrance because of cystic fibrosis. However, it's great to get out there and get some exercise and keep up on that. When it comes to nutrition, I try to also schedule that. I try to uh, keep that um, as um, average as possible when it comes to uh, how many meals I eat a day. Um, I have a, a night feed uh, that I hook up to I, and it's very important for me to make sure that that I, I follow through with those things. It's easy to gain weight when you're healthy and you stay healthy when you're eating right. So if, if one of those two things isn't working out then uh, it's hard to, it, you definitely see how one affects the other. It's time management. I wake up in the morning, eat oatmeal and yogurt and fruit every morning. I'm on this like whole food kick, which is really, I think, helped my health. And then I exercise. I've been running, gosh, two to, when I was training for the 10K, two to five miles a day. I'll eat, do my meds, my vest, which takes at least 45 minutes in the morning. Uh, exercise, go to work, then uh, hang out with my friends, practice, play the drums, go to shows. In high school I was very active, then college I worked out when I lived with my brother and then I kind of was lax about it. Then I got drums and I play really kind of wild. You know, some people I see and they're just playing like this and it eats me inside because I'm like, oh, play the drums if you're going to play them. When I was training for my 10K, it was, you could do 30 minutes of cardio on a day off instead of running, so I was like, I play the drums at practice for an hour or two tonight, and that really, really helps. I breathe a lot, I cough. During a show, sometimes people must think I'm dying because in the middle of a song I'll be playing, and I turn bright red and I'm coughing and I'm coughing. You gotta do your meds. That's part of CF, is it's, you're not, it's never gonna not be there, so you might as well do it now, get used to it, and make it part of your daily routine, and that's what I do.